Sup guys, it's your boy Justin. Welcome to the latest episode of Tokusatsu Thursdays. Uh, for this week's episode of Tokusatsu Thursdays, I'm reviewing the Ultraman X TV series, which came out in 2015. And um, it's a Japanese superhero television, television series produced by Superaya Productions. It's the 27th entry in the Ultra series, right? And um, yeah, it's directed by Koichi Sakamoto, right? And it aired from... 2015 from July 14 2015 to January 5th 2016 and uh, it has 25 episodes but three of the episodes were recaps and I watched this show on the Mill Creek blu-ray set which comes with the movie and they didn't even include the last episode it only comes with 24 episodes because the last episode was a recap with a, with a preview for the movie, and since it came with the movie, why bother with the recap, right? Um, yeah, I would go over the cast for the show, but most of these guys you you'll never see in other stuff, right? So well, why bother? Um, so the 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 main plot of the show, right, and it's another show. Where it's like in a uh, separate like universe from the other Ultraman shows, right? Uh, this version of um, the Science Patrol is called Zeo, right? And Zeo was formed after fifth after 15 years uh, ago when um, there was this uh, phenomenon called the Ultra Flares that. Uh, cause um, that cause uh, spark dolls to show up on earth which are um, spark dolls are something that didn't premiere in this show it premiered in like a previous show which are like to basically toys that turn into giant mo monsters and they were created by somebody right and uh, since and, and for, fi for 15 years you've had giant monsters kaiju and aliens rampaging the earth, right? Um, the main character of this show is Daichi Ozaro, Ozaro, Ozora, sorry, uh, who is who was the son of two scientists who kind of discovered um, this like alternate dimension, and were doing like you know research on spark dolls, uh, and they mysteriously disappeared on the day of the ultra flares, and they leave their son. Um, a, a spark doll that they were taking care of, which is Gormora. Which, if you've seen Ultra Galaxy Mega Monster Battle, you know Gamora is a pretty popular, uh, a pretty popular kaiju in the Ultraman series, right? Which, uh, Gamora is basically a Godzilla-type monster, but with, like, beige, uh, beige skin, and has a cre has a horn, and has a crescent-shaped head, Right? Um, so da Daichi is like a, a nerdy genius who is like a monster a analyzer specialist for Zeo, which is this version show, this this show's version of the Science Patrol, right? And um, he's he's basically studying how to um, turn Spark Dolls into monsters that they control, they can control. And battle like other monsters and aliens, right? Kind of like an Ultra Galaxy monster battle, but in this, but in this, uh, you know, series, they they use hologra hologram light, uh, hologram solid light projections of monsters, and you have these like cool like cyber like uh, s cyber virtual reality uh, cop copies of the monster. They look pretty cool. Um, so alien shows up before they can figure out this technology and um, Daichi fuses with the Ultraman the this series Ultraman which Ultraman X who uh, Whose body was destroyed when he uh, on the the day of the ultra flares where he was uh, um, Pursuing this space criminal who is Grisa right and thrown him into the sun and that caused the ultra flares right 
Um, and his body was destroyed, but he turned into digital data, but he's able to fuse with Daichi with his analyzer thing, digitalizer thing, right? Which can analyze spark dolls and they become Ultraman, uh, right? So like other characters, you have his As uh, As Asana Yamase, who is the martial arts, martial arts, mar uh, female martial artist. You have Wataru Kazama, who is the um, who's one of the pilots of the show, but he pilots like the the space, the space Musketi, which the their vehicles are called uh, Musketeers, right? Which there's even an episode called All for One, which the vehicles in this show are prod Nissan vehicles that dock with a machine with a machine, right? That can turn. That depending on which vehicle docks with the machine can turn into a jet, uh, like a spaceship, or a tank, right? It's and they're named after the different Free Musketeers from the Free Musketeer show. And they're uh, sorry, uh, book. And there's no D'Artagnan. If, if before you ask, hi. And Wataru is basically he's a pilot, but he's also his story is that he used to be uh, his backstory was he used to be a rugby a rugby player, right? And there's even an episode about his uh, rugby rug, <laughs> rugby playing brother, who quits rugby and and goes to live at this like, um, wh what's it called? Um, ah, fuck, it's like a house where multiple people live in, right? And like, and then it turns out to be all aliens, right? Who gave up on like you know. Uh, Invading the Earth, and they they get bullied by space criminals, and Watcher's brother has to play a rugby game against the evil aliens. It was stupid, really stupid episode. You have Hayato Kishima, who pilots the Sky Musketi, who's the cool character, right? He gets like no backstory, right? Other than like he's the cool character who cucks his co-pilot friend Watcheru. Uh, go, uh, starts dating his, like, uh, childhood friend in one episode. And, like, he gets, like, no... Usually in these shows, you get an episode dedicated to each of the characters. Um, you, you don't get an episode for Hayato in the second to last episode, right? The two-parter before the recap, the finale recap episode, by the way. They put in, like, a little thing that, oh, his dad, uh, has a famous noodle shop, right? Uh, and uh, other characters are you have the two COs, right? Uh, which is Kamiki and Tachibana. I almost thought Tachibana was Kaoru from fucking <laughs> Yaru, but they just look alike, right? And uh, there's like an episode where she becomes Kamen Rider, sorry, uh, Ultraman <laughs> Nexus, right? And you have Kamiki, who who also uh, who's like the main CEO and wants to like um, uh, create a world where monsters and humans can coexist, right? Which which is Daichi's also Daichi's like main goal. Which makes once you know when once you see his episode where he where you get his backstory, it makes no sense that Kamiki would be like. Uh, pro coexist coexisting right and you also have like the two uh, scientists um, two scientists and there's two like support people um, uh, who ba who barely have any lines in the show and don't give any backstory right so most of the show is like recap epi sorry not recap episodes <laughs> is episodic episodes Right where you where our characters fight monsters and um, uh, fight monsters, right? And then uh, Ultraman X will defeat them, right? Turn them into spark dolls and the scientists. Which one of the scientists is a alien s snail monster who uh, who um, uh, made all this the super science technology and is very fucking creepy like there's some creepy perverted monster designs in the show and i'll talk about them later right um yeah so like the main gimmick of this show is they're able to defeat monsters right 
turn them into spark dolls and develop these cards that Ultraman X can use, Daichi can use, right? And then they can summon like armor that can like, you know, that armor and weapons that can attach to Ultraman X, right? Uh, which you have like the, uh, let me open the booklet. You have the Gamora armor where he has like two like claws and he could do Gamora special attack. You have the Elking armor where he has electronic whip, like electro whip. You have the Bemstar armor where he has a shield, right? And he can do barriers, which uh, you have the Zetan armor, which also can do barriers. You have the ultimate zero armor, which there's a, uh, lo lots of cameos from different Ultraman in the show, and the Ultimate Zero armor lets him uh, uh, go to different dimensions. And then, like the final armor of the show, is the hybrid armor where it combines the different um, armors. Right? He also gets a new form called the X Seed X, uh, uh, X Seed X form, which is which he gets halfway through the show. Like, I think almost halfway through the show, and then, like, the, you kind of don't see, like, the armors for a while, right? It kind of replaces the armors, where he has, like, this rainbow uh, dagger that lets him transform into X Seed X, right? And uh, it's it's pretty cool form. It's not as dumb as you think it's, it's going to be, because, you know, it's rainbow, it's... It's from a rainbow blade, right? But, uh, no, it's just his horn is rainbow. Like, rainbow, right? So, yeah, in this show, you get lots of episodes. Sorry, not lots of episodes, but, like, lots of cameos from the different Ultramans, right? There's an episode with Ultraman Max. There's, like, a free parter with Ultraman Ginga and Victory, Right, you also have an ultra, uh, episode with Ultraman Zero, right? And then, like, you know, also uh, Ultraman Zero. And then, like, you, the last Ultraman you see in the show, the show is Ultraman Maxis, Nexus, right? Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go with my likes and dislikes. Likes, I, I like the designs. I mostly like the designs, right, for the monsters. And, and the Ultraman f uh, f armors, right? And forms. Um, the fights were cool. The fights were cool. Lots of different angles for the fights, including angles where, like, die where you see POV, and, like, there's low angle, like, uh, low angle fights. Uh, f uh, camera angles for the fights, which really uh, shows the sense of scale. It makes the the show more immersive and makes the whole like uh, footage where you're seeing the uh, where you're, you're supposed to be seeing a giant fight a giant monster right look more like realistic right um yeah so like, that stuff was great uh, lots of action in the show and because the show is only well the show is really only 22 episodes when like when you think about because like three episodes are like you know recap the show has a really fast pace and it's never boring. Um, my problems with the show is one, you have the product placement with Nissan. Uh, the vehicles in this show are mad fucking stupid with the the v with the cars and the cars and trucks fucking docking with like you know the transforming machines to turn into jets and tanks. That shit was fucking dumb. Um, that shit was dumb. Right. Uh, there's also some of the monster designs are pretty creepy. Like you have the bird on, which is like this turkey rooster monster that has two dangling balls on each side of its fucking face. And was supposed to be a pregnant female. You also have the uh, fucking... The fucking... Um... um Plant plant tentacle monster called Hulinga, who was uh who was like uh like th there's this episode where it's kind of like a reverse Jaws where there's a monster close to this town but the monster the giant monster 
is kind of friendly, so the to the town uses it for tourism, right? And the 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 monster befriends this little girl and has this tentacle, like it's supposed to be a plant monster, so it has this like tentacle uh, root thing that pops out of the ground. It's supposed to look like a like a flower, uh, w like with a bud, but it looks like a fucking tentacle, and the the little girl pets it like a pet. Right, and it's like that's fucking creepy as fuck, right? Um, yeah, and there's also there's this one stupid monster design, Moo, which is like the look it up and you'll see why it's fucking stupid, right? So my my other problem with the show is too many crossovers, like it just the crossovers. Like too much, too many Ultraman showed up in this fucking show. There should have been only uh, one crossover with one of the di different Ultraman series. You have like, you have like uh, four, five different Ultraman show up in this fucking twenty, like twenty-two episode series. Really, if you if you ignore the recap episodes, uh, that's too much. Like how they like. They do. They did it with Super Sentai or like Power Rangers, where you just have them cross over with the previous series. Was best here. It's like they have too many fucking cameos, right? Uh, but overall, I like this show. Um, I was leaning between like a seven, but because of all the dislikes I've had, I have. It's a 6.5 out of 10, but like I could be wrong. This could be the best Ultraman series ever, and a lot of people uh, say that this is their favorite and one is one of the better Ultraman series. So like, make sure to check out other people's reviews. This show is available on uh, to watch on Tubi for free, but if you really if you really like this show, make sure to support the official release. This does have a Blu-ray set. Uh, that comes with uh, comes with all the episodes except for the the recap finale, and it comes with a movie, which we'll review the movie at some point on the channel. So yeah, that's it for this uh, video, guys. We're gonna have the poll um, the poll set uh, set up on Thursday for you guys to vote for the next Tokusatsu series review. All right, guys. Peace.